Hi guys, today I'm going to try something different. We're going to try cooking stuffed French bread. Start off with a loaf of French bread, a pound of ground beef, which I use the 80 20, half a cup of chopped onion, third cup of chopped celery, a teaspoon of minced garlic can of cream of mushroom soup, two tablespoons of milk, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and you're going to add salt and pepper to taste. For me, I like a little less salt and a lot more pepper. Three quarters of a cup of shredded ch cheddar cheese and three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Mix the two of those together and a half tablespoon of chopped parsley. First thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 350. And I have the cast iron skillet inside heating up right now. Okay, we're going to take the French bread after we put these magical gloves on. Sure we are. We're going to take this French bread and we're going to very carefully cut this. First of all, we're going to cut it in half so it'll fit on the cookie sheets. And you're going to take, cut this like this. Try and keep it as even as possible. Okay, now what you're going to do is scoop out the bread that's in the center here. Throw that in a bowl. Okay, here you have two bottoms. One bottom's going to go there, one bottom's going to go there. Take your tops and just a little bit off the tops. Top's going to go there, like so. And the top's going to go there. I'm just going to set those aside for right now. Okay, now this here you want to break up into little pieces. Okay. And then just set this aside. Once it's all broken up into pieces, move that over to the side. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do 
is take the skillet out of the oven here and set it up on the hot burner. And now we're going to brown up our pound of burger. It's all brown. Okay. Okay. And I think we're all browned it up to here. And, uh, drain this grease off of here. a hole in my handy dandy little grease sucker here. Huh. Haha, <laughs> never fear. I know what I can do. Voila! Duct tape. The answer to everything, right? Just take a little piece of duct tape. Put it over the hole, and that should work, right? Duct tape fixes everything. There we go. Voila! Just like new. Okay, <laughs> let's get back to work. Whoa! You know, you want to make sure. <laughs> That you have your oven mitt on. Cast iron skillet. A little hot. to add in the onion and the celery. garlic stir that all around there and let that cook for a minute or two here Now we're going to add in the cream of mushroom soup.
the Worcestershire and the milk. And we're going to mix that all up. already doesn't it? Okay. Now we're gonna let that simmer for a couple minutes till things get nice and heated and then I will be back the next step. Okay now we're going to take the mixture and we're going to mix it in with the bread that is here. Very carefully stir this all around and get it nice mixed in there, get the bread in there. out and into there, into the bottoms. Okay. I'm going to do both sides. Finish it off right there. Anybody else? Okay. I'll take that and set it aside. Now you're going to take your cheese mixture and coat it over the top. Just like that. Good, doesn't it? <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet. Now, take the top, put your top on there, slide that bad boy in the center, take your top, put your top there, slide that bad boy in the center. 
Take these, set them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese is melted. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and I think they are ready to come out. One and there is two. Ouch. See that? Could have been in just a little bit longer, but there you have it. And then you take and then you slice it after it's cooled just about five minutes, and it is delicious. There you go, for my <laughs> third attempt, I think, at cooking videos. Not bad, I guess. I did forget a couple things to add. I realized as I was cleaning things up here, I uh, forgot to add in the salt and pepper and the parsley. But, you can add those in as you do yours. If you um, want me to do more cooking videos and bloopers, uh, just let me know in the comments. Till then, thanks for watching.